Hey everybody, what's going on? I thought I'd do a video about trim. So I kind of searched on YouTube and looked. You know, YouTube's been around a long time and there's a ton of videos on trim. So I started watching some of them and I thought, ah, this will be useless. But then I watched some more of them and I, I found some big holes in these videos and, and complications that you may run into that I couldn't find covered. So I thought, you know what? I'll make a video and cover those things that are missing. Not only that, I'll cover everything and make this your one-stop shop to install your trim. These videos are for the do-it-yourselfer. These are not intended for the professional. You can watch them. I'm sure these guys already know um, what's going on. It just hasn't really been covered on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig into the inside corner. I coped it, but it still doesn't work. So let's figure out what's going on, why, and how to make it work. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Guys, if you would, just take a minute and hit that subscribe button. Make it the impulse thing you do today. Help me out a little bit. Um, creating these videos costs a little bit of money and it sure would be nice one day to get a little bit back. Let's get going. I built this little stem wall so I could better emulate problems that you may run into. And I've got an inside corner right here. We're going to get a close-up on it. I've got 245s cut on this trim. And we're going to see what's going on. We're going to cope it. And we're going to see how it fits then. Um, I can tell you right now it's not going to fit well. But then I'm going to show you how to fix that. As you can see, we have a big gap at the top. And we're tight at the bottom. So both of these were cut with a nice 45. And we're still just not we're not fitting up good at all so what we're going to do is figure this out because that's just not going to work now if you watch my other videos you'll know that i like to paint my trim before i install it and the second reason i did this is just for um, better quality of a video so that you can better see what's going on instead of white on white so let's cope this and see how it fits so for those of you that have watched coping videos that's great for those of you that haven't we're going to explain it right now so what we're going to do is this is cut on a 45 and we're going to follow this profile and we're going to back cut this so this straight part right here i can cut out on my miter saw this right here we're going to have to cope now, I don't have a coping saw, I don't own a coping saw, and I've never used a coping saw. We're going to do this with a disc grinder, a 4-inch grinder with a flap disc on it, and cut that out very nicely. So let's get started. Here we are at the miter saw, and I've got a back angle set. I'm just going to go ahead and, and set it at 45. It doesn't matter. I'll do a back angle of 45. And I'm going to cut it all the way down to here, and then I'm going to stop. But what I don't want to do is cut any additional off. So I cut it right to where the profile begins. Now we can go ahead and just snap that little piece out of the way. Now we're going to finish the rest of this with the grinder.
Okay, there we have it. So it's back cut and it's coped out. Let's see how it fits. We may have to do a couple of adjustments. So what we want is for it to fit right up over the edge of it nicely. It's not horrible. We're going to roll with it for a second and uh, we'll fix it up a little bit if it even works. Here we go. So you can see there is still a gap at the top of this trim. It's not horrible, but there's a gap. You could caulk that if you wanted to. It wouldn't require much. But if I lift the other side of this trim up, you can see that that closes up pretty good and it lines up pretty nice. So what we've got going on here is we've got a hump in the floor. We have an unlevel floor. So what we're going to need to do is scribe this trim with the other piece of trim. And then we'll cope it and then we'll have a beautiful fit. Let me show you. Rather than coping following the profile of our 45, we want to cope following the profile of our trim. So I'm going to push this trim in here as far as it'll go. And I'm going to push this trim up against it. Now I'm going to take my pencil, make sure they're both in here nice and tight. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to scribe my profile on this piece of trim. Yeah, I know my hands are in the way and it's hard for you to see. So that's what we've got right there. But we need to cope out to that profile. Once we do that, we will have a nice fit. And as you can see, we have to take more from the bottom than we do from the top. And the reason for that is the floor is not level. And the floor is higher here than it is over here at the other side. And you're going to run into this and you're going to run into this on a regular basis and you'll find that coping just won't work in the standard means of coping because what you need to do is scribe from trim to trim to get the proper angles on your coat. So this time I'm not going to go to the miter saw. I'm going to use my disc to sand this entire thing out on a back angle. Okay, there we have it. Let's see how that fits. There we go. I push it up in here a little bit. It's much tighter. There's still a little itty bitty gap there. Just a tick of caulking and fix that no problem. Now if this was hardwood, I'll show you what you need to do to get that perfectly tight. What we're going to do is just lay a piece of sandpaper over the top of another piece of trim and set this on there 
where it lines up very nicely with it. And then just kind of sand it back and forth a little bit. You just want to work on that front face. It, it should be really thin because you've got your back cut on it. So once your back cut is on it, the face is thin. So you want to make sure not to take too much. Just get the contour of that. You do that a couple, two, three times very lightly. Go back over, check the fit. And see what you got. Let's have a look. So there we go. It's not that coping wouldn't work. It just wasn't marked out properly to begin with. So now that you know how to mark it out, if you have a hump in your floor and coping the corner still leaves you with a gap at the top or at the bottom, this is what you need to do is trace it off of the other piece of trim, cope it out, sand it a little bit, and you're going to have a beautiful fit. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please go to my channel, go to the playlist, look for the trim tutorial. You're going to find a bunch of shorts on how to install your trim tips and tricks to get you around things that you need to get around problems you're going to run into and how to resolve them i'm going to show you every one of them i'd like to thank you for watching click on one of those two videos right there if you enjoyed yourself and i'd like to give a special thanks to tony iconelli and brett wimmer because none of this could happen without them